Welcome back to the Bookends YouTube channel. Today we've got Kim back with us. Hello. Um, and we're talking about reputable agents and how to spot them. So I'm going to pass it off to Jessica to introduce Writer Beware, and we'll take it from there. So as you begin your, your agent search, you know, it's important to know that there are scam artists everywhere, and publishing and literary agents are no different. There are people out there um, who will try to take advantage of new authors, and they will call themselves literary agents, um, or in some cases, even publishers, mm -hmm. and I don't know that they are. Um, so, you know, as you're beginning your search, it's important to know the difference between a reputable agent and a disreputable agent. Is that right? even a word, disreputable? It yeah. is now. Okay, then. Um, <laughs> That's a word, right? One of the per first places I'd advise you to go, and sort of a lot of what we're basing this on, is the website Writer Beware. Uh, it's been around since as long as I've been around in publishing, as far as I know. And they do a really good job of collecting information from writers um, and sharing it so that you can look through a list. And if you have questions about an agent or an agency, you can look on there and see whether or not charges have been brought up or issues have been um, brought up or exposed about um, the reputability of that agent. Right. Or agency. A lot of times it has to do with um, asking for payment up front, um, either to edit your book or um, to submit. Or So you should know that a, a reputable literary agent only makes money on commission. Um, there should never be upfront fees. Um, and so I think Writer Beware has collected information from other authors who have come up against um, these kinds of requests from other agencies and um, so that you can know in advance if they're reputable. <laughs> reputable. I was going to say reputable, but I didn't want to use it again. <laughs> no agent. So you should, should never pay. Yeah. In the corner of the screen, every time As someone says reputable, reputable i got to figure out how to do that. <laughs> you should never pay an agent to read your work. Um, submitting is free. Querying is free. Um, to be honest, although this is a bit of an aside, you should never pay any company any fee to get your work to agents. Um, all agents who are open to queries and accepting submissions, you can do it through their websites, usually email. In our case, it's Query Manager. There are other things like that. It shouldn't cost you anything but time. Once an agent calls and offers representation, you should never pay them money. You will only pay them money when you are paid by a publisher for a book they sold, not for a book that you sold or somebody else sold, only for a book that agent sells. Um, so that's one sort of red flag if you go to an Big agent's one. website. <laughs> yes, that is probably the biggest red flag. If you go to an agent's website and they're asking for money up front, close and go find another yeah. agent. The, the publishers that they send it to, because um, there's still, I don't, there's a term called vanity publishing where um, certain publishers will ask you, will make you pay to publish your book and get it out there. And if, for instance, one of these agents lists that they've sold to these publishers that you can have then researched and learned are vanity publishers, then those are, um, you know, not legitimate sales that can be counted towards them. Um, yeah, and some of these publishers, these scam publishers and these scam agents will sort of be one, mm -hmm. you know, they'll call themselves an agent so that they can bring you to their publisher and they'll make you pay fee after fee after fee. Right. Um, so I think that's probably the biggest thing. You should never pay up front. You should never pay anything up front to contact an agent and um, definitely know and use writers beware. We can link it below for anybody who's looking for it. I'll put it in the, in the description. So good luck. Keep your eyes peeled and don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell so that you see all of our future videos. Welcome back to the Bookends YouTube you forgot channel. To clap. Oh. Welcome back to the YouTube. <laughs> I learned and... a trick. I learned yeah, a trick. See? Yeah, that's why they do that. The clapper board. I don't really know what we're talking well, about. Well, then you know when to start. Like, you don't even start editing until you get to the point where there's the clapper oh, board. So there's going to be a spike in audio. So you know to oh, just go the there and, and crop all this oh. nonsense out. Learn something new every day. Yeah, but he never does it. I just wanted to do that. He learns something new, but he never does it. <laughs> but she doesn't remind me mid-video like she did now. Now I'm going to... 
Welcome back to the Bookends YouTube channel. Just made a face. You're going to crop that too. Nope. Faces stay in. Weird faces always stay in. But now he can't because he clapped. There's <laughs> a lot of clapping, a lot of audio spikes. I'm going to leave this entire part at the beginning. Just Excellent. Let you know. People will yell at you for making too much noise. Oh, yeah. Welcome back.